Okay. I don't know if you guys hear this over the fan. The um, a uh, twelve-year-old kid comes and tells you that he wants to be uh, Batman, or a twelve-year-old kid tells you that he wants to be the president, or you know, win the Super Bowl, or uh, slay dragons, whatever the case is. You kind of know, yeah, that's great, that's a good goal, you know. But you don't, you don't, uh, it's just kids talking. <clears throat> the, um, you don't take it serious, it's not a big deal, it's not something you're going to, oh, okay, that's, you know. And maybe they could become all those things, but, you know, they're 12 years old. they got a whole lot of life left to live before they become whatever they're going to be. The, a uh, uh, couple days ago, my sister had a conversation with a woman she hadn't seen in quite a while and she asked the lady she said you know how's your family how's your kids <clears throat> and the lady said well we've just uh, our our son has just notified us that he is pansexual I don't know what pansexual is but my sister said it's uh, they're attracted to everything or everyone no distinction or something like that <clears throat> pansexual and uh, the lady kind of, well, you know, well, we support him. It's, you know, it's his decision and all. And, um, and she kind of jokes, she says, you know, she always wanted a daughter. Maybe now she's going to get one. She kind of laughed it off. But the kicker was, she told my sister that, or my sister told me the son is 12 years old. 12. And, um, you know, I don't... I don't think it's the reason I make this video is I don't think this is an organic thing, an instinctive thing. I don't think that the, a 12 year old is thinking about his sexuality. Gee, where do I fit in? Okay. I think they're fed this stuff. I think they're taught this, or these doors have been opened for them that now they got to close or go through, whatever the case is. And because uh, all of a sudden it's this new thing. These young kids are coming out saying that this, that, and the other thing. And I think it's just bogus. The, um, I don't think the, I don't, um, the 12, I was playing with Legos. I couldn't spell sexuality. But it's, I don't, had we not put all this stuff in front of them, they wouldn't be making these decisions. Okay. On top of that, I think there's going to, in another 10 years, we're going to get the end result of a great many people that made big decisions like this when they were 9, 10, 11, 12. Shouldn't be making big decisions, but the, the, these people, these young people, make big decisions, and the family supports it. But the kid is 12, says he's pansexual, and he gets to maybe 19 and thinks, "No, I'm not." Why did I do that? Why did somebody kind of, you know, a little more guidance there or something like that? I think if a kid came to me and told me he was pansexual, I'd say, "You need to go back to the chalkboard." The um, get off the TV or something but I couldn't believe the um, I don't th I don't think it's this legitimate that these kids are all of a sudden questioning their sexuality or questioning their gender maybe that's what it is this they're questioning their gender I think that's just a bunch of baloney kids can see each other that's a boy that's a girl they figure this stuff out we load all this other junk on top of them and uh, I think just confuses the matter and now all of a sudden you have all these people it's like a, it's like a new fad you know but I think you're going to have a whole bunch of people down the road that fell into this trap that maybe they weren't gay or weren't transgendered or weren't A, B, C, D, whatever the deal is. And they're going to look back and go, gee, I really made a mistake here. But this was foolish. And I think you know, you know, they're going to try to unscrew the unscrewable and they're going to be all tweaked. And then we'll have to babysit them. Anyhow, just my opinion. Love you. God bless.